Hello and welcome to the Boku Cat. It's I, your lot more favorite host, Boku Satsu, or Ari, you want to call me. It doesn't matter which one you want to call me. Oh, well, yeah. So, uh, we're here. social media, you guys know that uh, I have a desk, I have a computer, an actual freaking computer I can use to edit videos on, okay. I have an actual computer I can use to edit videos on, I have a, uh, I have a monitor for my Playstation, for my PS5, oh yeah, I have a PS5 now, by the way, just want to clarify that, I'm not trying to flex or anything, <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I got COVID now, fortunately. Yep, I spent my 22, my 22 birthday on, uh, I spent my 22 birthday in my court, in quarantine in my room. Oh yeah, I'm 22, by the way, my birthday was like three days ago. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was fun, I, I guess. No, not really. No, not really. It was not fun. It was actually annoying. It was a decent birthday, I can say. So, they got any presents? So, they got like, any presents? Yeah, birthday money. Not gonna say how much due to the fact that, uh, that's my, that's my, uh, that my personal information right there. But, uh, yeah. Uh, any figures? Well, no. I think. I did use some of my birthday money to pay off for my Memorial Kirame Changer that's on my wrist right now. I fucking love this toy, by the way. I will be wearing this for a girl. I will be wearing this at a Power Morphicon 2024. So for those, so for those that are going to Power Morphicon 2024, if you see me with, if you see, if you see, if you see a tall black guy with a Memorial Kirame Changer. That'll be me. That'll be me. I will. <laughs> that will be me. I will be there for it. And yes, I'm going to Power Morphicon 2024. My goal for next year is to uh, save up a lot of money. So next year, I probably won't be buying a lot of new figure. I have, I have, I have like some on pre-order. But at the same time, I have like a lot of figures from this year that I have not did proper videos on. So you, you will see reviews of the figures next year. So yeah. Like for real, I have like a lot of figures I bought this year that I have been freaking videos on take pictures of. Well, did the fact that I won I was over burnt with too many figures, pre orders, and stray uh <laughs> my scheduling <laughs> because of due to that as well. So yeah, but that's gonna change. Next year, a lot. Next year, a lot of new things are gonna change for the uh, for the Bokusatsu production. <laughs> I say it the nicest way ever possible. I say ever, but I meant, I meant possible. My bad. All right. So yeah, that's gonna happen. That's uh, a <laughs> that's a good thing. It is. Holy shit, I fucking love this changer. Even though the wrist strap is annoying as hell, cause it's fucking, it's fucking loose. Fucking loose if I not put that one piece on, what, if I not put that one piece in, okay. But uh, I got, but uh, I got it to work now. I only can hear, I'm not, I'm not turning on right now, by the way. It's like one, it's like 141 at night. And everyone, everyone, in the house, everyone in my house is fucking asleep except for me and my dad, so I'll keep it pretty down. So, so anyway, back on as I was saying. Ooh, hold on, yeah. So anyway, back on, back on as I was saying. It's uh, yeah. 
more camera changer. I will, I will be doing a video of the, of this later today. For record, this podcast episode, this podcast episode is uh, I'm gonna guess it be up, it be uploaded first or second before the review. But if the review comes out first, then okay. And uh, yeah, I will give my honest thoughts and opinions on this thing because who oh boy, I figured out how to use it. First off, I want to say this. I'm pretty dumb because I did not know that this fucker takes uh, triple A batteries. I thought it would take like LSR batteries, just like the freaking uh, Arsene uh, SB license changers. Nope, they take they take triple A batteries. Genius, Bandai. Genius. Well, to be fair, well, to be fair, I don't have the uh, I don't have the regular. I don't have it. I never got the freaking. Uh, I never bought the DX version, unfortunately, because I did not know, I did not know where the hell could I buy freaking Toku toys at the time. And this was before I knew about Toku collectibles from 2020, so it's also that too. Yeah, no, Kimmy that came out in 2020, but I think the first time you took collectibles was around the, spot, around the time that uh, Kamen Rider Saber was airing, and the figure art for pre order and then I pre-ordered the U.S. release date for both of them, so it's also that too. But uh, since I never got the DX version of the, of the Kira May Change it, the Memorial was a was a was a good choice. But was it pricey? Fuck yeah! I had to put a fucking deposit down for like what ninety-seven bucks for this fucker? I don't know, fifty dollars for the deposit. Then then. Then I got the full price for I got the full price the deposit version for this fucker, you know. Pretty pricey. I had to wait it I had to wait two weeks to get this fucker due to the fact that uh, my last paycheck that was like two weeks ago did not did not have enough for me to pay for this day. Then I had to wait till my birthday week, aka this week, to get get some birthday money, but I have a lot of birthday money by the way, I'm not gonna say how much. But, but with that, I mean, I mean, with that, I managed to take advantage of it, and, uh, bam, here we are, I have it in my hands. This, this, by this thing came yesterday, I was asleep around, like, 12.30, I'll, I woke up around, like, 12.30 in the afternoon, and I found out that, uh, I got, I, I checked my notification, and, uh, it said, it, it said that, uh, shop had this outfit delivery, I'm like, wait, what? Really? And apparently, around like what, like, around like what, one thirty, the package came. I was like, oh hell yeah, it's pretty cool. And I opened it. I was like, oh fuck yeah. For like, I want to say I do have the box. I do have the brown box it came out of. It's fucking awesome. But uh, I, but uh, I have the regular box right across to my freaking desk. I'm looking at it. It's so shiny. <laughs> Oh man, shit, I fucking love this thing. <laughs> oh man. But uh, yeah, the Memorial Camera Changer. <laughs> Again, I will get my honest review on it in a, in a video. Just not now. Well, of course not now. But yeah. So, Boku. Will you be buying the Shinobi Changer and the Operator uh, Changer? Unfortunately, I'm going to say no. Due to the fact of this reason. As much as I want those two changers, I'm going to skip them because my goal for next year is to save enough money as possible for Power Morphicon 2024. I'll keep my eyes out for the for the tickets for the Red Ranger Pass, by the way, when they go up, yes and no, they they had like an early Black Friday sale for them, but uh, at the same time, that was for Black Friday, and uh, I missed out on that, so I'm keeping my eyes out. I'm keeping my eyes on the website for me. I'm keeping my eyes on the website if I can get my hands on them again. So yeah. So yeah, that's happening. For those who go to PMC in, tw in two years from now, you you will probably see me, and uh, I will be there. Don't worry. Will be cosplaying. Well, fuck yeah, I am. 
<laughs> Fuck yeah. Hold on, I just gotta say this. I love the fact how uh, Bandai just used P just used fucking PNG images for the care major for the box. I find it funny and hilarious though. Nice. Okay, Bandai, you guys are you guys are slick and clever, but that's funny. <laughs> that's actually funny right there. <laughs> but yeah, this this memorial came in changes though. Pretty cool. I am gonna ask which version is this? This is the so. Oh, this, oh, this is a good release, but uh, I bought the fr I put a pre-order in for the first patch, for the first batch of the, of the, uh, of the Japanese release. Because, well, I was in a hurry, I need this fucker, and I was very tempted. I said I'm gonna skip it, but the more I look at it and look at it, I fucking, I said, I need it! I fucking need it! And now, here I am, I have it now, I fucking love this thing. It's weird because I said to myself that uh, I'm not buying no like role play item, only with a few exceptions, like like freaking decade stuff in the SP license in this. But dude, I'll be honest with you, it's really pissing me off now due to the fact that uh I can't I might be I might be going down to a rabbit hole of role play items. Like I have no, I have, like, I have like no fucking desire in buying any comrade, any other comrade belts. Decades is enough. Hell, I'm still waiting for my 2.0 CSM Deca Neo. I'm still waiting for my 2.0 CSM Deca driver. I don't have that, by the way. Just clarify that. I can't even get that till like next year, unfortunately. So yeah. But uh, yeah. I, will, I do want to talk about something uh, serious. Now, I don't know if anyone knows this, but uh, so, lately I have been going down a uh, train of nostalgia. And uh, this nostalgia, nostalgia can be very powerful. I've been do, I have been uh, intrigued by a certain something and someone. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm get, I might get a lot of feedback for this, but uh, this is YouTuber. I'm not gonna say his name, and he was part of a, we can say group of other YouTubers slash streamers. And uh, I've been intrigued. I've been intrigued by his. Uh, I've been intrigued by this guy's personality. I'm like interesting. Interesting. He was actually, he's actually really funny back in the day. He was a cool guy. But what happened to him now? Oh. Yeah, that happened two years ago with him. Okay. No, I, no, I check his stuff. I check his stuff and say, okay, what the fuck is he doing right now? Oh. Okay, he's, uh. Okay, he's not doing good. The guy's dude, the guy's not doing good. I'm not saying I'm not gonna say YouTuber's name due to the fact that I don't want like I don't want like a lot I don't want I don't wanna get like a lot of attention, we can say. But uh yeah. I look back I look back at I look back at this guy's old videos and find and find his stuff very interesting. They're funny too. Even though he, even though the, even the, even the, even the guy isn't himself anymore right now, due to the fact that he got canceled, got kicked out of the group, it sucks though. It sucks though. Even all his, even though all his friends that are no longer friends with him, wishing the best of luck. <sighs> Damn it. Anyway, moving moving alongside from uh, that. I have an announcement. Ooh, an announcement. What the fuck's going on, Boku? <laughs> so, I have been thinking about this lately. And, uh, I don't know how this will affect my, uh... I don't know if this will affect my, uh... Channel or anything, but, uh... Will you guys be okay? I'm saying no. 
next year I will be streaming. I will, I will be live streaming like a lot. And what I mean by that is this. There will be times when I will be live streaming. Like having like someone for a cute name with you guys. Talk about whatever. Tokyo not Tokyo. Basically, yeah, basically a Q and A. Ask ask me anything, and I will reply back. <laughs> because well, why not? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that that can happen next year. Also, I want to talk. Also, can we talk about Shell Factory for a second? Now, for those that already know, uh, it was leaked first, but not anymore. It's now official that uh, Shell is releasing next year. Common Rider, uh, yeah, Shell really, Shell Factory releasing next year. Everyone, two favorite Tokusatsu shows. One, one out of two of them are my favorite. Fuck, okay, now, let's talk about Kamen Rider first, by the way. Shell Factory is releasing a Blu-ray release of Kamen Ryuki. With the po- with the poster. I'm not- I'm, I didn't pre order Ryuki, cause well, I don't care for that- for that mid-ass- for that mid-ass show. Not taking that back, cause Ryuki's fucking mid as hell. But, uh, move that garbage out of the way. Uh, Tok- not Tok- Tok- is, uh, also releasing a, uh, releasing Decorator next year for DVD. No joke. And yes, I know the fucking cover looks god-awful. I know the SPD pictures. I know. Apparently, Shout Factory is fixing that error as we speak, because there was a picture, like what? A couple weeks ago, of an updated pick, updated cover release. They're fixing the pictures as we speak, so let's give them time. I said it multiple times on Twitter that the cover is not fully official. Yes, the information was in mind, but the cover is not fully official, so we can't fully judge a book from the cover yet. Shell Factory is fixing it as we speak. And that's good. That's actually good. They are. Because they got a lot of backlash for that. So, so yeah, uh, Shout Factory releasing my favorite Sentai DVD. That pure. <laughs> Funny enough, I had a chance to do. I had a chance. I had a chance to choose between two things: one, pre-order that, or pay for my Memorial Kimmy Changer. I said, I said no. I'm gonna hold on the Memorial Kimmy Changer. You know? And I pre-ordered the freaking decorated DVD. And I, well, I did. And I fucking am excited as hell for it. Fuck yeah. I gotta go face Opera Ranger next. I gotta go face Opera Ranger as we speak. So that's gonna be fun. I'll probably, I'll probably, like, yeah, I'll probably do like, like uh, next week or something. But uh, yeah. I'm, ha I'm halfway through Opera Ranger as we speak. I'm on like what? Disc 5? What? Disc 4? 5? 1 2? <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Where the fuck is it? Hold on. Fucking your Sentai Upper Ranger. Yeah, disc 5. That's. Yeah, I'm on disc 5. Okay. That's gonna be fun. I'm a disc fight as we speak. So, uh, yeah, back on, yeah, uh, back on, as I was saying, uh, yeah, uh, Deck Ranger, I'm excited as hell. I actually can't wait for the 20 years, 20 years after fucking movie. And the main, and the main reason why I say that, because, let's be honest. Toei just announced this year they're making two 20 years out the movie for next year. Opera Ranger and Hurricane Let's be honest, they're gonna 
they're gonna do a decorator. They're, they're gonna do a decorator to complete the big fucking journey of the 2000 Sentai. So I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. Wait a minute, Broken. What are the big favorite 2000 Sentai? Okay, we have Hurricane Ranger, Opera Ranger, and Decorator. All three fan favorite Sentais. That's the big three for the 2000 Sentai in my eye. Before Go Kaiser, for the record. So keep that in mind. They, <laughs> Hurricane Jet and Operation Jet are happening. Decorator is going to happen. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Decorator is going to happen. And I'll be fanboying as fuck when I see that damn trailer. I'll be like, oh, fuck yeah. My fucking ghost. They're back with a kick some ass again. Oh, man, I love it. Good 
there's a good thing that there's a good thing that belt been uh, fully uh there's a good thing that belt been uh, purchased or only all, all, all they just have to do now to ship it out to me so yeah so yeah what else can I talk about oh yeah Dawn Bird is almost over and uh I, yeah I don't, I don't know what to say about that it's not a perfect show, no, I can admit, it's not perfect, as much as I and many others overhype it, it's not perfect, but I'll be honest, why I do bash Go Kaiser, I think that Dawn Brother is, uh, well, shit, yeah, it's better than Go Kaiser in my opinion, again, to be fair, any, to be fair, any other, any other anniversary, Dawn Go Kaiser, way better than Go Kaiser. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna take that back by race. It's fucking true, don't at me. <laughs> You're a hater, bro, Kiva Gilkaiger. Well, I mean, shit. I may have clapped multiple fucking times on Twitter that I did not give two rats ass about that show. For record, if you like Gilkaiger, that's totally fine. I'm not, I'm not calling you guys assholes, no. You can like the show. This is, this is just me bashing it from, this is me bashing it because I just don't care for it. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, back, yeah, back on my Dawn Brothers, it's almost over. She's fucking crying now. It's actually a really good show, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna miss it. I had, like, a lot of fun time for that. I'm gonna miss that cast. But, uh, yeah. Dawn Brothers, I'll say it's not perfect. It's not perfect, no. But if I had to rate it, uh, right now, probably not A plus. Hell no, not C. No, probably a B. It's a B. It's a B tier Sentai, in my opinion. There isn't like a there isn't like a story. But to be fair, I know it just copy and paste the story, the, the shit they took from Fies and Kiva. And put in uh, Dome Brothers. Even though Dome Brothers do way better than both of those shows. Just saying. But yeah, while Dome Brothers doesn't have like a fucking story, it doesn't, let's be honest. It does make up for the toy sales. And uh, that's great to hear. But uh, but yeah, this. There's still like a lot of uncovered. There's still like a lot of stuff that haven't been a touch again for plot, for plots, for plot holes in the show. But uh, that's for uh, that's for that that's for a different time when I get around to do my Dawn Bird review. And yes, don't worry, I will be doing that when I get the chance. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, I haven't talked about Jeez in a while. I haven't talked about Jeez on this channel. Damn. Okay, uh. My aunt talks about Jeets. I haven't, I haven't watched the late episode yet. Same for Dawn Brothers. But, uh, honestly, I like it. I like, I like Jeets a lot. Uh, oh, I forgot. I did talk about Jeets on my podcast. <laughs> but, yeah, but I can say, I, I liked, I like, uh, I like Jeets. Jeets is actually really good. <laughs> is it better than Revice? Well, I can't fully say to the fact that, like, what? 11 episodes right now with Comrade Jeets. I can't compare the, I can't compare the two. But, uh, I will say this. Do I prefer Jeets or Revive? I'll take Jeets any day. Again, I can't compare the two due to the fact that not all, not like, due to the fact that Jeets is not, Jeets, Jeets technically is still just started. It's not fully over. <laughs> so I can't compare, I can't compare the, the two or four thing. But, uh, yeah, I like Jeets more than Revive. I don't know. Even though I know, even though I have my issues with Yuya Takahashi with, with, with his past with his past comedy shows like X A and Zero One, he the um, he just felt different. It felt like at the same time I'm watching, felt like I'm watching an early Heisei show. In my eye, just felt like I'm watching like Blade, but. At the same time, a little bit exciting there, we can say. Even though, you know, I don't, really, I don't even really like X8. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I don't like X8. If you don't go ask me, wait, what do you mean? I, I, I literally had like a one-hour 
fucking podcast episode on my channel, me talking about my pros and cons of that show. If you want to go check it out, go watch it. Anyway, back on, back on the thing. Uh, yeah. Jeans is actually really good. That's it's actually really good. The Lego More than Revise, again, I can't compare it to, but I would say that who would, who would I take at my main protect, Ace or Iki? Why I like Iki, at the same time, he he's, a, he's an okay protagonist at best. He's not my favorite. Oh, hell no, not for a long slot, not for a long shot. <laughs> Back on saying is uh while Iki isn't my uh, favorite protag, not for like a very long shot. Fuck off with that, my bad. But yeah. Uh, do I like Ace more? Well, Ace reminds me of Tendo and Sukasa. Because both of those two are the biggest assholes I can think about when it comes to Prime Man writers in phase one Ace. Like, no joke. Don't get me wrong, they are. Sukasa's a fucking Sukasa's a fucking dick to everyone in Decade. Let's be honest. Is it coming for me? I fucking love Decade. It's my second. It's my second favorite comedy show. Nintendo. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I can see. I can see why people. I can see why people don't like Tendo due to the personality. But at the same time, I fucking like Tendo. I can't lie. I, I like. He's actually one of my favorite. He's actually one of my favorite protagonists, Primary writers. Comfort one of my favorite. Comfort one of my favorite seasons as well. There's also that too. It's not like, it's not ten out of ten. No, but I do. I do enjoy it. But uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ace reminds me of those two, and I fucking love it. Figure. 
But apparently, people do. Hell, hell, a, a lot of people in the Tokyo community recognize me from my fucking videos. Well, I talk about, I talk about fucking, I talk about fucking kids shows every time as I get a chance. I, I see not my fucking Decker Ranger short on my YouTube channel got like, got, got like, what, like what, 280 views, like, in 24 hours. Jesus fucking Christ, God, what the hell? Where, where is this low? Where the hell is this low? When, when I freaking release a freaking normal video. Ay, ay, ay. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I fucking love this shit. But, uh, yeah. I think I don't know. I honestly don't know. I have no fucking idea. Oh, man. 2022 was good and bad for me. Let's see. Well, lately, I have not been having the best of luck in life. Why? I got mad as hell two weeks ago at my work. I got two weeks ago. I have been having a shitty day. Why? Well, uh, I didn't get paid enough money to pay for my memorial changer. And my memorial came in a changer as I wanted to, due to the fact that, uh, due to the fact that uh, that that whole week I was the four days. Uh, well. Let's just say there. Let, let, let's just say there was miscommunication at work. That's all I'm gonna say there. And uh, what else? Oh yeah. That same now Friday it was, it was it was fucking it was fucking horrible and annoying as shit. My God. <laughs> I see it now. I, I wanted to freaking scream and yell at work because one customer. Oh my God. One customer. He was so fucking annoying. I want to slap the shit out of him. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna say where I work because that's, that's private information. <laughs> you know what else? Oh yeah. I got COVID. I got COVID last week. Yep, it happened on last Sunday. Wait, really? Yeah, no joke. I have my like Sunday. I feel like shit for some reason. And uh, around Monday morning, my mom came in my room, gave me the COVID test, and she told me that I have COVID and I'll quarantine that whole week. Yeah, I was quarantined. I was mad because at the same time, my birthday was that week. This week, by the way. And uh, how have I, how have I, how have I been how have I been going for the COVID? How have I been? How has I been? Like, book, are you okay or anything? Uh, let's see. I've been having a good and bad time with, with this second wave that was COVID. Yeah, this is my second time getting COVID. First time I got COVID was true. Well, not going to say it was true, but uh, first time I got COVID, it wasn't like that big of a deal. It was fucking light as shit. It wasn't like, it wasn't like that big of a deal. It was like very light. But uh, with that happened, first time, first time that happened, I was quarantined. I decided to go, I decided to go, uh, I decided to go watch like YouTube, maybe, YouTube tutorial, what to do, what not to do about when you go to Japan. Very informative, by the way. You know, yeah, I'm playing fucking video games, taking pictures and all that. Now, how have I been doing? Well, let's see. I have been uh binge. I have been uh corn. I have been uh eating food. Oh God. I have been uh, binge watching Shameless on Netflix. Still watching it. Like what? I think I'm on season. I think I'm on season. I think I'm on like, think I'm on, like what? I think I'm on, on like what? Season three? Yeah, I gotta go watch more of that later today. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm binge watching Operation as we speak right now. And um, yeah, I took I took, I took like a lot of pictures. But at the same time, uh, lately, for the second for the second for the second dose of COVID happened to me. I have been very, I have been feeling very sleepy. We can say, I can say, like very tired. Like I'm on like fucking dinner time. After dinner time, I feel tired as shit. And I go to bed and pass out for like two or three or four or six fucking hours. Wake up, wake up, wake up, like what? That wake up, like what? 
midnight. I have no idea why. I do you know what? It's a fucking, it's a fucking, it's a fucking symptoms. My head, my head was hurt. It felt like it felt like my head was getting squished, like a damn pear. Not the good type of pear. I don't like pears, but still, I have not been having a good time. We can say with this second dose of COVID. And it really pissed me off. I had to make my fucking birthday due to the fact of this. Because I, my plan was for that week is my birthday. Go to Target. Go, go pick up, go pick up some new Lightning like, Collection figures and, and get out. But no, but no. COVID, COVID basically said, F you, that shit ain't happening. And here we are. Yep, I have not been having the best of luck, we can say. Uh, that, you know, we can say that not been pretty good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's great. It's not fucking great, to be honest. It was also bad, too. <sighs> So yeah, how about my birthday? I think I said it, but I'm gonna say it again. It was decent. Got a lot of birthday weird shit. Also, I also managed, I also managed to put a pre-order down for that say figure arts coming and shut up noon. So yeah for that. Pay off my pay off. I find my payoff, my payment, my payoff for the memorial camera changer. I have it, I have it on my wrist right now if you speak and I fucking love this toy. And uh yeah, yeah, that was uh, uh me. I was all, I was all broke to his life. You can say, my, <laughs> this last December, I was hoping for it to be good, but at the same time, December 2022 right now has not been the best to me. It has not. It has not been very nice to me as we speak. You know, so well. Again, my year has been good and bad. Okay, 2022, there's some friendship that, there's some friendship that I'm no longer, there have been some times where I, I lost uh, some good friends, but at the same time, the other time, I made a lot of new friends. I had beef, and I made up, and squash beef. I made a, I made a fucking improvement to my channel, but at the same time, I feel like my child's not getting a lot of attention right now. And uh, that's breaking my heart. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What fucking else can I say? Well, 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 oh yeah, I got a fucking new camera. What do you mean? So, I have a new camera. Yes, I have a new camera. I've been taking a lot of good, sexy pictures from my toy photography. For anyone that's what I have, I have like a four, like, I have like, what, a 400 or 4,000 uh, Canon camera. Yeah, I fucking love it. That's a really good camera, not gonna lie. In the beginning, I, in the beginning, I had like a, had like a hard time with how the hell to, uh, how the hell to, to trick this fucker and take a good picture, but... I found it right now, that's pretty good. Today for that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, that's happening. That's a good thing, I guess. I don't fucking know what the hell I'm gonna do right at this point. Ay, ay, ay. Masima, masina, masima, da. Fucking tired every time I try to make a new episode. 
Yeah, yeah, we can say we can say that um, we can say that life has not been treating me very nice this year. Sometimes, other times, not so much. <laughs> so yeah, that's a uh, that's a thing. That's uh, that that way really pissed me off. So, got any goal for next year, Aaron? Yes, I do. Again, my goal for next year is to save like enough money for Power Mode for Con 2024. So. It won't be seeing like a lot. It won't be seeing like a lot of new figures coming. You won't be like seeing like a lot of new figure reviews. Well, a lot of new figures for me to do reviews on. I because I have a plan for saving money. Due to the fact that I, due to the fact that I have like a lot of figures of this year that I bought, I have not made reviews on. You know that actually pissed me off. I didn't do those. So next year I'm going to do I'm going to do figure reviews of those figures. Well, which one? Anyone ask? Probably next month. Since next month is January, January, January of 2023, I will release I will release a figure review on SA Figure Comic Review Advice. I haven't done that due to the fact that one. F to fact that one, everyone, everyone already did fucking videos on those two fuckers, and I haven't. And two, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the biggest revise haters out there. <laughs> no joke, no fucking joke. It's actually true. I'm one of the biggest revise haters out there. And uh, and uh, I review freaking Demon and Evil. I fucking love those two figures, by the way. That 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 P band and that Yes band, they're really good figures. And, and I have like no desire to get Genix figure. I don't care for that character as well. Not call not call her by her actual name due to reasons. <coughs> Book and Pink. Just saying. I love, I love Book and Pink. But uh, am I am I getting Hana? Yeah, I actually am. <laughs> I said that to myself. I said it to, I said it to many people. I said, I said it to myself many people. After Demon, I'm fucking done buying me by figures. But Hana, Hana is a fucking exception due to the fact that I love that character to death. And also, I like the actress too. She deserves better. Just saying. So it's also that too. And I said to my, said, and I said to my friend that uh, Hana's character reminds me of fucking Jasmine from Decker Ranger, and he said, "Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, she fucking is. She basically Jasmine 2.0, in my opinion." My opinion, I fucking love that. I see her. I see her more as a. I see her more as a developed female writer in Revi instead of Gene. Because okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about Revi now, but I brought it to myself. My my main issue with Gene's character is that it just felt like. To me, they annoyed it. What the fuck do I do with her character? I'm like, okay, yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah. She's she, she's a cool, kick fucking character. That's fine, but at the same time, what? But at the same time, what the f what the fuck is a character arc? Yeah, she doesn't fucking have one. I mean that in the nicest way possible. She doesn't have one. She just come her just because just because she wanna get stronger. Okay, female Bonjo, what the fuck? <laughs> we already have a badass secondary who, who who's a fucking idiot, yet his boyfriend is a gay scientist. <laughs> Hashtag watch build. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, yeah, I just, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Her character just made no fucking sense in my opinion. I'd like for real though. I should you not. I can't tell you a single fucking thing about her character. If I'm gonna be honest, Hana pretty much Hana Aguilera. You whatever version with everything you wanna give her, Hana pretty much Hana felt like pretty much the, the true like actual actual female writer in the show because well one, she had a fucking character arc. And Sakura no, I'm just gonna say that. Hana pretty much took all Sakura's character in the whole show. <laughs> and I find that and I find that uh, pretty funny though, to be honest. <laughs> like no no shit. 
no lie. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's name one single thing about soccer. What? what? They like. I wasn't supposed to say that name. Damn it. <laughs> name like one single character trait from GNA from Revice. I'll wait. Of course, of course you can't. She fucking doesn't have one. She's just a kick fucking. No, honestly, no. See, honestly, no. If you if if you take away if you take away her karate, she doesn't have a character in the show. Hell, freaking Love Coup has a character. Even and this, this comes from me. I don't even care for that. I don't even like Love Coup. What you don't? No, I fuck. I never care for that damn for that damn mid plushie. Oh, because a lot of people are saying that. <laughs> I don't care for I don't care for that plushie as well. Never did. My friends did. That's fine. They can, that's fine. But for me, fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck. No. <laughs> but, uh... But, yeah, Hana... Yeah, I think they would say that Hana basically the true female writer of Revice. Jean ain't just there. She doesn't, she doesn't have a fucking character. She's just there. She's just fucking there. That's all. That's all she had. Hell, freaking Nago from... Jeez, I know I can't compare it to for what I just said about about G still happening, but I can say right now, I can say right now, Takahashi's doing pretty good with Nago's character. It he felt like it felt like it felt like Takahashi doing a redemption due to due to his path work with, with right female characters. Because let's be honest, in X A and Zero One, Takahashi wasn't the best. For writing female writers in that show, except for Nico, she was decent. You know, I like Nico and her actress a lot. But still, it felt it felt even though even though even though G even though G isn't like on final episode, it felt it's a feel like right now that Nago is a more fleshed out female character than Gina. <laughs> it's fucking true. She is! It felt like that she is, though! Hell, fucking Aoi from Black Sun is a more fleshed out character than a Gene. And that comes from me, even though I love Black Sun. I'm just being honest here. Ugh. Anyway. Move, move aside from my move aside from my revised hate. Yes, I will begin. I will begin the SA Fear Kamari Aguilera figure. When? Well, I'm not gonna pre-order it. Fuck no. I'm gonna wait until I'm gonna wait until I took a look what had the fucker available on the store. Because if anyone's looking for like any of the rewrite figures, they have uh, Revy, Vice, Gene, and Demons, and Thunder Gale available on their website. I took a look at both websites. Uh, Evil sold out, unfortunately. Well, duh, due to the fact that Cagulero, he's a fan favorite. Evil is sold out right now, so, uh, yeah. But, if, but, if you, if, if you want to find Evil or Demon, if you want to find, like, a figure cheaper, Evil recruited, check Manjurake or Ami Ami, or your local, like, online stores. Again, you'll find for a decent price there, so, yeah. Uh, so anyway, back on as I was saying, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> I will, I will begin Aguilera figure, but at the same time, I'm gonna wait till like the figures available for figure figures available on my website. So yeah. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, light lightning collection. Yeah, lightning collection. Uh, can't remember lightning collection. Uh, well, there have been some good and some bad for LC figures for this year. What, what are my thoughts on it? Oh, I, all right, let's be honest. Let me say it. I know that people have been having bad luck with uh, Time Force Blue. And, uh, oof, that sucks. That actually does suck. I fucking love Time Force. One of my favorite seasons. 
Even though I want that figure to quit the team, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait until I find it. Until I go back, until I go to my local Target after my quarantine's over, which should be over like on Monday. Say yay for that. <coughs> oh, whew, excuse me. So, yeah. But, uh, besides that, but yeah, besides that, that's, uh, <coughs> but yeah, besides that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to wait until I find that figure in, uh, in Target, because my, I already know my local Target had, like, the new wave available in stock. So, I'm waiting for that. So, yeah. My Walmart had, like, the latest Marvel Legends wave and stuff. I want to get the comic book Black Panther and the uh, White Tiger, I think it was. For Marvel Legends, but uh, nah, nah. That, that was the same Friday that I found a correct version of Merrick at my local Walmart because I don't get that week wasn't the best for me, unfortunately. So now I have two versions of Merrick. Correct and incorrect, thank you for that. So, back, so, I want, so I want to get my full on the Peanut Butter Lightning Collection as a whole for the figures. <laughs> why, why are my honest thoughts about the Peanut Butter Collection? Uh, while I have my, while I have my issues with the line in general and like many others, but let's just be honest for a second. Let's be honest. For the same people that freaking I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm no, I'm like, uh, not in the right for saying this, but, uh, we're the same people that whine and moan and bitch about damn kids show and kids toy, and if we don't, if we don't like what we're seeing, we can just stop, you guys can just, uh, stop buying from the line in general, like, no joke, for real, I find it funny how people are saying that, uh, they're no longer buying from, they're no, they're, they're no longer buying from, I find it funny, okay, I gotta start starting. I find it funny how people say that they're no longer buying light collection figure due to the fact that it has been a damn cute sheet. I'm like, okay, you say that, but yet, two, like, two, like, two or three weeks later, I see a fucking picture of you with, 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 with a brand new light brand new lighting collection in your hands. You want to explain that? Listen, guys, let's be honest. Let's be honest. We don't know how long Tamashi's gonna make for releasing these figures in Sentai form for figure arts. If you want these figures now, like, very cheap, let's be honest, guys. Figure arts, uh, figure arts aren't cheap. They're fucking expensive as shit. They're coming from me, and I buy a lot of figure arts. Lightning collection is the best bet to save money. And I'm honestly okay with that. Yes, I know the fucking priciest shit at time, but let, let's be honest. Again. Again. People are bitching. Okay, people are bitching and moaning about the damn Alien Ranger 5 pack being $100. You shouldn't be whining about that, but yet, but yet at the same time, y'all motherfuckers spend like. spend like what? thousand or hundred dollars on a damn import figure from Japan. Just saying, if you're gonna bitch and moan and whine about, about a damn five pack, then how much money are you spend for our SA figure art to be imported from Japan to America? Shipping included, just saying. Shipping included, just saying. Like, for real though, they're just for real though. They're not, they're, not, they're not perfect. No, they're not perfect. No, 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 I'm not saying that. They're not perfect. I'm just trying to say, I'm just trying to say this. While they're not perfect, no. The same people that whine and moan about them not buying the figure also, also like, say that the thing that's also that the, also that the freaking dumb buying the toy line, I find them, I find them contradict this up many times. Like, Okay, you say this and this, but yeah, at the same time, is this, is this you? Is this you buying the figure right now? Playing with it, taking pictures of it? Like, real. 
I find it so many times in the fucking community, people contradict themselves saying they're no longer buying LC things because of the damn price. And at the same time, you say that, but yeah, I caught you red fucking handed paying this price for figures. I f for real, what the like for real, what the hell? What was the point of you? What, what was the point of you bitching and moaning about this damn price then? It's like, dude, for fuck's sake, for fuck's sake. Listen, I want, I want, I want to say that while the price is yes, our BS for the collection now. You guys gotta remember, we're in a fucking pandemic, so prices are gonna go up as we say. They're gonna be a bitch. Just come for me, come my workplace right now. The prices are fucking changing on our menu. Not gonna say way I work, but yeah, the prices are changing every fucking day because of COVID. So, I don't blame Hasbro for changing the prices. It is what it is. While the $20 figure, while, while the $20 figure could be annoying at times, while the $20 figure line could be annoying at times, we just got separate guys. We're still in a pandemic, <laughs> it's not fucking over, and if you're gonna whine about, about fucking five pack being $100, let me say this the best way to you guys. While the Alien Rangers are not popular, no. The Sentai counterpart are. The Sentai counterpart is popular. So imagine if Imagine if fans imagine if Power Rangers fans who are fans of both Power Rangers and Sentai took advantage of that. Because guess what? They did this fucker with the Psycho Rangers. I know Meg Ranger, I know Meg Ranger is a fan favorite, but still, same for in space. And Second Ranger is also a fan favorite Ranger villain team. And guess what? Don't fucker, don't fucker, like don't fucker around like what? Oh uh, yeah, around like three hundred dollars on Amazon, three hundred to two hundred. But that's different. The cycles are different. No, 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 no. I say that due to the fact I say it multiple fucking times. If the fucking figure is pricey as shit, it's because due to the fact of the popularity. Like, this same logic is fucking used every time for a brand new premium Bandai item. Hell, perfect example, the Memoria Kiramid Changer. Kiramid Changer is a fan favorite, it's a popular as Sentai. So, what did Bandai do? Made it fucker, made it to, made it to a damn Memorial Changer. Hell, fucking Gokai is a perfect example. And let's be fucking honest. Bandai, Bandai is going to make the SA figure of Goku say how Gokai Red premium, premium Bandai due to the fact that Gokai is the damn popular season set in Japan. And yeah, it fucking is. It's fucking gonna happen. It's fucking gonna happen, though. It just annoys me of people in the Tokyo community whine and whine and whine how yet I had the fucking figure are pricey as shit. We yeah, I almost want to say this. You say this, but yet weren't you the motherfucker like pay, pay, pay like what pay like what? <coughs> Four hundred dollars for a damn more buy rates or some shit? Like for real. Stop whining about damn money. You pay like four hundred dollars for this bullshit item over here. So you pay a hundred bucks for a non-import 5-pack isn't a fucking problem. I said 400, I mean 100. So you, you pay, you pay, you pay, you pay, what, 100 bucks for a 5-pack isn't a fucking problem, though. Thanks for real, though, again. You pay like 100, you pay like 100, pay like for the what? A hundred to two hundred dollars for these damn import figures and items coming from Japan to in America. So us paying like uh, so people so so paying like what a hundred dollars for the five pack on Amazon for the Alien Rangers isn't a, isn't a big deal. If we if you don't if you don't like if you don't like that price, just don't buy it. Just don't buy it. Just don't fucking buy it. Just don't just don't fucking buy it. Am I gonna buy it? Yeah, just not now. Even though Cocker Ranger, even though Cocker Ranger is one of my favorite Sentai's, 
I am gonna buy just for them, but at the same time, right now, I'm gonna wait. <coughs> I'm gonna wait and see if I'm gonna wait and see what's gonna happen. So yeah. So yeah, that's that's my thought my collection. It's just annoying to see the community whine and whine and whine about about saying, eh, this and this, this and this, like you guys, listen. <laughs> Are the figures perfect? Fuck no. Hell no. Nah. You gotta be lucky to find a decent copy of a figure. Well, I did. I got a decent copy of, of Damage figure. You know, my, my only gripe is that, that he can't hold his hand. But besides that, that's just, that's just a regular problem with all my LC figures. So yeah. Well, I know all about a few, but yeah. Listen, not every figure in this line is fucking decent or perfect. Fuck no, hell no. I find a lot of QC shit for all these motherfuckers. <laughs> am I still gonna collect? Am, am, am I still gonna collect the line? Yeah. I'm only collecting the figure that are that are from Mighty Morphin. Lost Galaxy is almost complete. SP is gonna be complete next year. Same for Lost Galaxy, Dino Thunder. So yay for that. What else? I, if I, <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. If I remember, uh, Hasbro, like, teased, like, what, Turbo happening next year. So that's gonna be great. Not the biggest fan, not the biggest fan of Turbo, even though the second half is, is probably bad in my opinion. But, uh, the ending of Turbo is not the best. Again, not, not the big fan of the show, but I do, but I do like those suits. Those suits are awesome. Those suits are totally underrated, in my uh, opinion. So, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, though. But, yeah. It just annoys me how people whine about this line. About the 20 dollars line, but at the same time. We have Marvel Legend. Yeah, the price for those fucker now are about $180. Like, for real. $70 for the Novel 2 pack? Oof. But at the same time, whatever. But yet, yeah, also at the same time, again, COVID. So, also, since, since Hasbro is a business company, it's a business corporation, <coughs> money, not the prices, and COVID are the big problem. Cause like for real though, ever since COVID happened, a lot, a lot of pre, a lot of places changed their prices up to like two or three. Hell, even get hell, even fucking gas stations as well. Let's be honest, because of fucking COVID. Yes, it may be yes, it may be expensive for gas now, but let's just let's be honest, guys. We gotta suck it up. There's gonna be changes. There's gonna be a lot of changes in this fucking world. We don't. We don't want to hear it. No, but we have to deal with it, unfortunately. It just. Uh, it just annoys me how. It just annoys me how people whine and whine and whine about 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 saying, "Eh, that, that, that's too pricey," you know? and I'm like, "Really?" <laughs> I'm popping opinion. I don't see a fucking toy pricey as shit unless it's, unless it's around like a hundred dollars. If the figure cost, if the figure cost like, if the figure cost around, around like, okay, uh, 150, then uh, yeah, then yeah, that, then yeah, yeah, uh, <coughs> then yeah, that's, uh, that's where we go too far. My limit for like, my limit for like, if a, if, if my limit for my limit did if a figure if a twenty dollar figure is cost around like one hundred twenty or somewhat then that's fair then that's uh that then that the limit for how much I can uh, see for the figure going but <coughs> if it go if, but if it go past that go around like, like one thirty then fuck no fuck off that's bullshit that's bullshit because one guess what. At the same fucking price that uh, Bill Genius was at, one thirty, in Kiva Emperor form on Top Collectibles in uh on Premium Bandai, and uh, that 
Did that piss me off? Right there. I get it. I get it, okay? Both both are fan favorite forms, but at the same time, really? That fucking much? Much of it is fucking imports from Japan, so yeah. Imports are gonna be pricey as shit as we speak, but yeah. So anyway. So anyway, uh. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna stop. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna stop here. I, this this episode probably gonna go up tomorrow or Friday. Oh, Friday, tomorrow or Monday. <coughs> so yeah, thank you all for coming and hearing me talking for like what? Oh shit, one hour. Damn. Thank you, thank, thank you all for uh, hearing me getting my thoughts uh, and stuff about whatever about. Tokyo, my collection, how my life, how my life right now sucks as it is, how, yeah, how my life freaking, freaking pissing me off. So uh, yeah, <laughs> my next video, will, my, next, my next video will be on the Memorial Carry Bay Changer. So yeah, I can't wait, I can't, can't wait for you guys to go see that. So yeah, my name's Aaron, and uh, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs>